excited to be announcing Office for iPad today, more specifically Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, available immediately for download in the uh, iPad App Store. All there in the iPad with a, a design that is both familiar to them as an Office user, but also very natural for an iPad user. What we're looking at right here is a Lenovo um, Windows laptop. This is the Office experience that people are familiar with, they sure. know and love. I'm just going to open a document on this. Uh, you get that beautiful Office document. It's opening it off uh, uh, OneDrive. This is you know, the free cloud storage for everyone. Um, I've got this great document right here, and um, I can scroll through. It's beautiful. It's got all sorts of comments and immersive um, content charts. Um, in this case, I'm actually going to insert uh, an image. This is a, a document about, about music, so I'm going to insert an image, and I'm going to insert it right off the web. Uh, I can do that. I can insert it just from clip art, or in this case, Bing. Um, so let me just do a quick search for an image about music, see if I find something good. Yeah, there's an image right there. Word music, that's pretty straightforward. So there it is. Now, I got that's, that's an experience that people are used to. Um, that's the experience they've come to, come to know with Office. But if I've got to leave the office, I've got to run out of my house, and I want to pick up where I left off, I can do that now with Word for iPad. So in this case, I open Word for iPad. I've got a list of the most recent documents that I've used right there in OneDrive. And there's that first document that I just um, was changing over here on my Windows PC. There it is. And I can see there's that image I just inserted. Um, I, maybe I don't like the way it looks. Maybe I want to modify how the text wraps around it. Maybe I want to move it. Maybe I want to make it a little smaller. Maybe I want to drag it around and put it in a different place in the document to where I like. And there we go, just like that. I've managed to extend my office experience to the iPad with a rich and immersive Word for iPad experience. Any limitations on the tablet format and on iPad? We really focused on building an experience from the ground up that's designed for the iPad. So we focused on the scenarios that we think are most practical, most important for users. We did a bunch of testing to make sure we address the things that are the most common things people want to do on this device. Um, and that extends to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Uh, and in fact, let me show you. Um, Excel in this case. You know, the first thing you'll notice is this is Excel. It's unmistakably Office. It looks and feels like the Excel people ha have come to know. I've got rich content, charts, and graphs. I can do things like change my charts. Uh, maybe I think this thing should be a um, uh, pie chart. Um, instead of a bar chart, you can see I'm seeing live previews of the different ways this data might look. I might want to change the color scheme. Maybe I don't like that color. I like this color scheme. You know, I can, I can change the style if I want to background it differently. Um, really easy, really touch friendly, just right, a touch first experience built for the iPad, but still the Excel that people are used to. And one of the things that in Excel's case that we did in particular is we actually even gone so far as to build a custom keyboard for Excel users that's super natural to use. I was going to ask about that because so often when you're using um, Office products, Microsoft Word or Excel, you're typing a lot and that can be a little difficult on a typical iPad keyboard. This is an example of how we built this experience for the iPad explicitly. So this keyboard really enables you to do some of the things that on a Windows PC you do with a keyboard and mouse, like keystroke commands or starting formulas um, so that you can easily do sums and averages and such, So, but built just for this experience. And you've got sort of the, the number pad absolutely. configuration over here on the right, yeah, so that should make things cell easier. Cell navigations, yeah, absolutely. OK. And then PowerPoint is, is, is the same, a very rich, immersive document experience, all the beauty that you've come to expect from PowerPoint. But touch-friendly experiences, like being able to move my slides around just by dragging them down uh, within the document um, and, and putting them where I want to put them. I can also add transitions, the, the sexy transitions that people have come to expect, like things like crumpling paper and, um, and things like uh, uh, the origami. Um, fold up and then I can of course because this is PowerPoint PowerPoint's about presentation it's about presenting confidently so I can always go in and do my presentation uh, walk into a room start my presentation get those great transitions and animations swipe to move forward um, mm. you see that my transitions my builds come through you can even swipe backwards believe it or not um, and watch that origami bird come backwards through the, um, through the room. And in order to present confidently, you really want to have extra tools like being able to tap and hold and get a laser pointer mm -hmm. so that people can see where your focus area is. Perhaps you want to go in and, and uh, fo draw some ink on the screen so you can say, hey, what I'm talking about is this. Um, I'm, I'm talking about this point right here. Maybe I want to pick up a highlighter and highlight the thing that I want to focus on. A really uh, rich presentation tools that let you just present uh, super confidently. Um, with PowerPoint. All three apps really built with touch in mind from the ground up for iPad users.